Well, the Valley's first medical school is quickly taking shape. Local aspiring doctors will actually be able to stay home to further their education. Action News anchor Delia Ron joins us now with how soon the school will open and the accreditation snag for the pharmacy school at California Health Sciences University. Dale? Born in Graciela, CHSU has graduated two pharmacy classes but still awaits full accreditation. The College of Osteopathic Medicine won't open for another year, but it is drawing applications from across the U.S. This three-story building in Clovis stands tall in the Valley's push to grow its own health professionals. It will be done in December. In July of 2020, 75 students will be the first to enroll in the College of Osteopathic Medicine at California Health Sciences University. It's hoped the school can ease the area's brain drain. We think that there's an abundance of people from the Valley who are qualified and are eager to stay here and go to medical school, and that's right in our mission. That's what we would really like to have. Dr. John Granito is the dean of the medical school, which will go through a pre-accreditation review in October. He what says students will have access to an advanced uh, simulation center to learn how to treat issues affecting joints, muscles, and the spine. So we're partnered with Case Western Reserve University out of Cleveland uh, to uh, use their licensing for their holographic anatomy. Every year, thousands of California residents leave the state to attend medical schools around the country. And we need to capture some of them here so if they are trained here and they're from here, they'll most likely stay here and practice when they're done. And As for the pharmacy school, the Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education indicated in a recent review standards found to be less than expected for a developing program. But the Dean of Pharmacy, Dr. Wendy Duncan, explained, quote, we have met 23 of the 25 ACPE accreditation standards and we are still progressing towards the final two. The final two relate to organization and governance and practice facilities. The pharmacy school retains its candidate status so students have the same rights of a fully accredited program and they include graduation and eligibility for residencies. An on-site inspection will occur before the pharmacy school goes through its next accreditation review next spring. Dale Yurong, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.